All right, we're back. Yes, we are back. It's yet another exciting dev class. Uh, this thing rolls around before you even know it. Right? Yes, it's been, it feels like it's been a week. So we're slap bang in the middle of the 18th century and the uh, the enormous war concluded in yes. last session with uh, victory. Massive spoilers, I suppose. Victory. Yes, for those of you who have not been keeping up, spoiler alert. There was victory in the yes. war. Someone won, someone else lost. Who would have thought it? And, well, you know, Meneth really feasted hard from the victory there. Poor Tragulea partitioned into two bits. Mind you. Mind you, I'm sure Tragulea is plotting a comeback. Mm -hmm. Now, there has been quite a lot of plotting going on. Oh, I've been hearing massive plotting around the office. But it's not all been about one big war, at least from what I can tell. People have their own ambitions these days. Because yes. if we if we look at scores straight away, because we're getting to the point where it's... it's uh, it's going to be set who's winning or not, depending on the score. If we look at it, Britannia... Yeah, so you filter out just players. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yes. If we look at just the players here, Britannia and uh, the barrels and canopies, they seem like they have a runaway between the three of them. Don't know if they're going to fight for the top there. It seems that Britannia's making the most, but when it comes to victory cards, some people have got... Uh... Yes, Salon, one last victory card. Mm -hmm. Now, North Kubaluba... All three of his victory cards are sitting on the iridescent horde. Oh, yeah, and that would be 8,000 points right there. He'd, uh, He'd career past canopies with that. And past the barrels as well. Mm -hmm. And then he'd also take an extra couple of points as well, wouldn't he? Well, if he, if he was able to get his point accumulation up, yes. then that could really swing it for North Kubaluba. So why don't we have a look at where his cards are? There we are. So all just forming a big mouth, trying to eat their way into the iridescent horde. Now, I was speaking to Bjorn B. Now, he believes, let's just go with what he believes, that he's managed to arrange, arrange a 1v1 with Rhaegar oh, over yeah. those victory cards. Because apparently Rhaegar has said, I'm not a dirty sellout. Oh, if oh, you my, want my victory cards... The map seems to be uh, scrolling on its own here when you when you said that. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I know, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I'm not a dirty sellout. <laughs> if you want my victory cards, you've got to fight for them. Rhaegar, truly the hero we deserve. Even if Fido's the hero we need. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, Fido so, and Rhaegar have been stuck together like glue since yes. the start of the campaign. So are we really saying that revolutionary Nebuluki would not get involved in such a war? Well, that's the rumour. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's a rumor. Now maybe, you know, revolutionary never lucky misspoke when he consented to this one v one. Perhaps beyond be misheard, Fido. Who knows? I'm just telling you what the claim and counter claim is. Then again, it might not be in never lucky's best interest to be getting involved in big wars like this because when the victory cards were laid down, they found themselves in a bit of a poor situation themselves because Finland is now of interest for Britannia. They're, yes. they're already in the lead, but why not give yourself a more comfortable margin? Well, certainly word on the street is, and um, Salty Daniel was discussing this quite frank, I mean, right in front of Fido, saying that he is ready to war for that victory card. Ooh. So we might see the, the Britannia trying this player war nonsense. It's not really been his thing up until now. No, but uh, they're not the only country that has their eyes on Finland. Catsalonia mm. also have a victory card over there in Finland. Don't know if they're going to go for it. Certainly it would be the ultimate ninja strike. Mm -hmm. Because there's the thing, if, if he doesn't want Britannia having that, he, would, he might have to go for it for himself. Are they going to do a combined strike? Will it be one-on-ones? We don't know. All we, no. all we know are the rumours that were floating about. There were rumours that Aquitaine would continue to be a dirty sellout. Yes, well, that's no change there. <laughs> the man who who kept the Byzantine Empire down for another 50 years. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he's a, he's a great businessman. There's nothing he can't sell. No. Including his dignity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or anything. Or, or any fan appreciation or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but really? there's other rumours going around that the Imperium... Oh, I mean, apparently, Bratton wants first place. Okay. Now, I wonder if he wants that more or less than he wants the Mary Nostrum because Canopies has been oh, denied. Oh, the Cheese Hall that. is at war. Oh, yeah. And along the, with the letter Z. The, the Groog and Zakania at war. Why? Oh, just fighting against the well known people of Kalundawe. Kalundawe, Kalundawe. Yeah, well, they're going away. It's, been a, it's yeah. been a lot of wars against these guys. I guess you can see they once had a vast empire. but Then the, they got uh, Salond. Yeah, they got Solonged, mm -hmm. Cheese Hall, and Zakani all moving in 
Because there is another yeah. man who would not say die. What's the letter Z? Mm -hmm. He looked like he was out. I mean, he was scattered to the four winds. He had a little toehold left in Rabat. Otherwise, he was just slinking around here, just over in Basra, not doing too much. And but that, he's re-risen. Yes, his font is getting larger, and that's mm -hmm. a mark of success. Yeah. Uh, that's what Beyond B tells us anyway. Big yeah. font. In fact, oddly enough, I, now I'm sure he wouldn't be so conceited as to say just because he's winning here, but he was coming to me going, it really should matter only who has the biggest name. Yes, certainly he thinks that should be a trophy category. Yeah, we, will, we will discuss <laughs> and get back to him. I mean, certainly it's uh, far larger than anything else we see across the map, so fair play to him on that one. Now, people are asking to have the players on the top of the outliner. Ooh, Ooh. Well, I mean, that's uh, certainly something that we can do. If I just uh, click on this the correct way. Then, but we also need to get rid of diplomats and navies. Mm -hmm. But I can totally... By want... popular demand, the players are now on the top of the I wonder outliner. if this will change if I look over at somebody. Well, I'll be damned, it stays that way. My goodness me, I've... You know... This has revolutionised the viewing experience. Yes, yeah, so we hope you enjoy our new integrated... Oh, n Mari Nostrum is completed. Oh, man, we were just talking about dirty sellouts. So, uh... Yes, now, a new, new member to the Hall of Shame. <laughs> yes. yes mem so, Canapes is there, having sold out. They've just outright sold. Okay, it's only eight development. One of them doesn't even have manpower. But it's more than just that. It's not just about development, this. This was about a long-held dream... And now I'm pretty sure uh, Bratton is sitting there at his desk, feeling empty inside. Oh, now do you know what has gone to war with anyone? Mm, Probably yeah. the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daivit and Ahmad Nagar. Which for, I think are down uh, in South Africa. America, naturally. Yeah, so if we just check, see where he's warring. Yep, there we there are. There we go. Well, I, um, I mean, where else would you find Daivit? Mm-hmm. It's been really gory down here in South America. Like, people just can't get around to conquering. And they, they don't even want this land for whatever reason. No, uh, That's prime real estate, maybe. There's Sarohan there, though. Always good to see them. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe this place is as bad as it gets. Actually, overall, South America got the, the short straw here. North America looking real good with plenty of high development provinces. Mm -hmm. You can tell why Catalonia chose the top part, and you can... Kind of see. Oh no, people are claiming though that Mammoth isn't really a D note level sellout. <laughs> I granted there are different levels of sellout, but, but once you've still... got that once you've got that stamp on you. Oh people are wondering go back to uh, go back to Sarahan, show off its awesome flag. It's truly the finest oh, flag the of any country. There we go. There we go. Oh yep. <laughs> yes, chatter definitely making it clear that canopies was an acceptable level of selling out. Oh. <laughs> is, is there really any acceptable level? I Apparently there is now. I take decided. issue with chat. I think this is uh, yep. fan fiction here. Yes, I, fan I fiction listen, here. I only listen to fan facts. Yes, yes. the customer is not always right. We've just got to make that clear. <laughs> however, the, however the, um, I was checking out YouTube and people are wondering how the lesser known Beach Beaches DLC is coming along. Ooh, right. Yeah, that, that is a good point I had. I actually began work on that, so... Oh, sh uh, sh 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 just say it's so taking longer than you thought. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah, good, sorry. yeah, yeah. So it's, it's taking a bit longer than expected. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot, I mean, lot, lot more work than we realised. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Don't worry, it's in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think they bought it. Yes, no, I noticed. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what we do notice, though, is that canopies appear to be building up quite the navy here. Yes. And these are no ships of trade. These are three-decker warships. Hmm. Now, he does well, not maybe, have the largest and most impressive of coastline maybe anymore. They're, maybe they're peace ships. Oh, I never thought of that. Maybe he's wanting to spread peace around the world. Uh, there's only one nation I know who would actually go to such lengths and... Uh, Spreading peace through fire and sword. <laughs> <laughs> the very fair trade ships are just <laughs> hanging around here. He's also, <laughs> also looking towards a disaster himself, is the Kenya. Uh, shall we take a look at the navies? Because if there is going to be a big war between the likes of Britannia or Anyone, really, yes. then whoever rules the seas could command quite a lot of power here. Mm -hmm. So we look at this, heavy ships are really what matter here. And Catalonia and Britannia are both top players when it comes to heavy ships, 73 and 72. But the barrels also enjoying 61 of their own. Perhaps the barrels and the canopies... Well, the barrels and canopies have enough ships to take on Britannia on their own. 
Absolutely, but not if uh, Britannia not gets an ally, gets a friend like Catalonia, mm. and basically Catalonia or bust really for for naval friends here. Yes, I'm uh, not sure if Aquitaine's two heavy ships will tilt the balance. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can just sell those as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes. I, I, I wonder if we'll see much of a sunset invasion from Catalonia. I mean, they have had 300 years of biding their time. Perhaps now is time to let Bringing them slip the... peace and order to America. Well, order. Mm, well, peace. These are just preservation camps, I suppose. Yeah. But... Yes, the reservations there. It's good, <laughs> good gambling there. So... But yes, he has a war fleet there. He also has a uh, an admiral for it. Now, why would you need an admiral if you're not prepared for war? Maybe he desires peace. Mm, he really desires peace. He's got friendship with Britannia and with Japan. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think it's going to be an invasion of the Japanese. No. Oh, this is just horrible. I, I would like it if North Kubalubu would just clean this up. Yeah, but I think North Kubalubu is looking westward at the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hear he was practicing his own war chant earlier today. It went well, something along the lines of Oompa Loompa Doompa Thi Do. Yes. Was, he's really taken to his new, uh, yes, new persona, uh, has Bjorn. Yes, he's quite enjoying it. Mm -hmm. People are asking how the Miltechs are looking. I imagine anyone who's anyone is taunting uh, Miltech 27. And a casual peruse suggests. And I thought, did Stragulia only have 25? Regulate. No, well, it's that's admin. admin. All right. Yeah. Badman. Cheese Hall 25. Okay. Yeah, not looking good over at Cheese Hall. Ceylon, even, are looking 26, good at 26. Not bad. But the Britannians are just the mm. glowing t radioactive t power. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lithuania. Uh, Lithuania is still uh, well. figuring out things like the wheel and fire. Oh, you mean in the game? Uh, it's yeah. not, doing, not doing too well here. No. 17, 17, 20. But they've been playing catch up for a long time here. But uh, you can't do catch up and do vast conquests at the same time for especially for your admin score. But I mean, they they came in very late, yes. very disadvantaged, and they're making the most of it. Yeah. However, the front <coughs> office is not actually here today. Apparently, important testing work on another game is in progress. Ah. Nah. Now, uh, Japanese heavies was a question that came up. I mean, that in itself being a question. Now, a whole two heavies. Yes, two deckers. Two two deckers. Yeah, never know when that's going to tip the balance. Uh -huh. And then yeah, nice. okay, Mike Mike is involved in the war because he is the Raven Village, and they are just enjoying being a march of Aquitaine. Yes, I would call it one of Aquitaine's finest conquests, but it really he was could even <laughs> conquer that. <you> know? <laughs> <laughs> oh me, oh my! <laughs> yeah, they've got. They have a fair share of cards around here. Yes, but it would take one of the most amazing and most evil backstabs. Mm -hmm. Who only a man who had no who who was happy to be hated would do. So not seeing any kind of build up here if we are going to be seeing a battle between these two. However, yes, the alliance no. has been broken between the two. But let's keep an eye. How do the alliances look for each of them with other nations? Because the iridescent are still allied with Tregulia. And um, revolutionary never lucky. Yeah. But North Kubaluba also allied with yes. Revolutionary Nebuluki and Tregulia, but also has the Cheese Hall by his side. Which is not and really in fact, a that really kind of surrounds the Iridescent where, Horde where there. Where does Cheese Hall have his victory cards? Because I know that Grugi is a truly evolved individual that's moved beyond concepts yes. like victory. Uh, hmm. They're really spread out here. But he does have, he could probably grab Crimea if he wanted to be in it. Mm hmm. It's right there. I mean, how much was that victory card worth? That's... It's 1,000. Yeah. Astrakhan is right there, but, you know, it's yes. North Someone's Kubaluba. saying, I think Salon has a victory card. I believe he does. He has done a deal with Gneve Nom. There we are. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that's done to the score chart. Yeah. As we might remember before, Gneve Nom had moved into the territory. Yes. But I guess he struck a deal for some other lands. Gornyasia is a really worldwide player. In fact... I would dare say that the sun does not set on the Gornia Sea and Empire if he could just grab something over in the new well, world. Well, he's got a new policy of buying a province off everyone mm -hmm. to make them unco make himself unconquerable. <laughs> I thought we were going to say uncomfortable. But well, probably that as yeah. well. But, <laughs> uh, but no, that's right. Ceylon have grabbed all their victory cards, which means they have 4,000 points left to gain if we step over to their shoes. God, God no, not Gornia Sea. It's one of the worst things about them, having lands everywhere. Yeah, you, you accidentally click. It's Ooh. not... Ooh. 
How about we accidentally declare war on him? Still looking for that observer uh, intervention command. Well, I still want to be able to transfer provinces. So anyone who sells a province, <laughs> we can then just give to whoever we want. Maybe rename their country to uh, Dirty Sellouts while we're at it. Okay, but it looks like you grab another 4,000 points, thrusting him right into the five digits. Yes, and, and he's also has improved his ticking. Yeah, so he's gaining three score per month. Not but quite when he, enough, he needs more. Yeah, when he gets that other one, he'll get uh, <coughs> he'll get another point per month. But he, he needs more, he needs to build up his military if he wants that military rank. Yes. He needs to conquer the rest of India to get the tax base. And it's not like it's not there. I mean, this is normally very wealthy land, and in random setup there are still some fair pockets of wealth to be had. Mm -hmm. And another thing, I think the AI has been building up some of those provinces. Oh yes, but uh, not too terrifying an army, so really... Ceylon should just go, right, that's it. We're going to crack some skulls and take India proper. Make make Ceylon India again. Yes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Not even get Ceylon. Back yeah, to how about, Ceylon. How about you get Ceylon first? Then we'll talk about India. Yes. People have been asking about Byzantium as well. Yes, I wouldn't really call it freedom, but they do exist. Oh, well, they're getting consumed by oh, the Imperium. Oh, dear. Dear. It's just never good when you're at the Med. Sweden is looking very nice at this time of year. Oh, oh what is Britannia up to? Well, let's um, check here. Oh, oh that's a spicy meatball right there. Yes. That's not even flat packed. <laughs> <laughs> now he's over in the warm land, Nerker, all, all these places. But what could they be doing there? And maybe just more peacekeepers. I mean, maybe they he's were going for a skiing holiday. Mm, quite possibly. Yes. But uh, the the uh, Raven people are here as well. I wonder what they're doing. No, that's Cats oh, no. no, that is Cats. Ah. Oh my goodness. Why did I think it was these people? Because they got a very similar flag. Yes. How dare they? That's the same. I think they are peacekeepers because they're enjoying too much Tragulian particularists. Very particular that's, type of people. That's how I see it. Yes. Hmm, then again, I mean, if we just get an idea, if he's coming in for that Finland, he is outnumbering the cannons, something terrifying here. What's he got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stacks. Might have counted that right or wrong, whereas Nebeluki has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stacks. Now, the Nebeluki stacks are 25% bigger, but even then... Mm hmm I mean, in, in the numbers game, you need to bring a it's whole that, it's load that, it's of that Never uh, lucky got Miltech. 27 there, 27 there. I think 28 is far too far away for no, that. He, no, he's only just got 27. Mmm. Mmm, okay. Yes. Not that 28 is huge, but okay, actually, that infantry shock 50 is pretty big. And better, yeah. Never look, he had to spend a lot of mill in the previous wars, so he's probably still quite a bit burnt out from all that. Mm -hmm. And probably drowning in debt with the Greater Cheese Hall Debt Collection Agency. Yes, mind you, can the cheese. Cheese collect. I mean, it's he writing checks. <laughs> yes. you know? It's his mouth writing checks here. Oh, but we see the iridescent horde troops have moved closer towards the. Uh, I wonder how long that truce defend. has got to last. Well, it was only a five-year truce. It was just an alliance that they just broke. A, just another year. Yeah, one more year. Never lucky for MVP. Quite possibly. No, yeah, maintenance is. Is he on full maintenance yeah, he's, now? He's got the mercs here, but. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, plenty of gunpowder, but I just don't think he'd have the numbers if there was a full-scale invasion here. Our uh, laser at war. Who has he gone to war with? Our laser is fighting ye, just as we said he should. Yes, and uh, also, also, um, Bratton is at war as well. Yeah, he's fighting the, the fridge. fridge. Oh, oh, why? Well, um, basically, um, Emil couldn't make it. But he's basically said, look, my country's not protected. But he has promised to bring the Hebrews home. Oh. Zucania will be brought home according to... I mean, I saw him doing these great... I mean, they still have a core over on Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And the al Kharax. Yes. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, see, I saw uh, I saw email earlier today, but I did not... No, he said... I had not even considered that he might be, uh, he's be he says closing so. the fridge door. Yes, sadly, the um, the fridge has melted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Let's keep in. Well, I suppose we can check out. Yeah, I mean, uh, when it comes down to it, you know, 
Uh, our laser fights in India, or cheese hole fights in India, who wears it best? That's what I want to know. Well, definitely you got to say our laser is having the stream of his life here. Uh, it's truly been a magnificent run for the R laser. Yes. Yeah, third time the charm. Uh, yeah. He got Ceylon, and he's finally doing a decent performance yes. in a uh, in a dev MP. Fido must prove Republican government can succeed in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the grandest of republics, yes. if you're going to do it, go mm. big. Okay, and what do we have? Ye Uzbek as well. Uzbek are involved. So if Cat, if Cat took that victory card and then Daniel takes it from Cat, would Fido and Cat lose score? I think so, but I hate to write checks. Yeah, I mean, as I know that if... Definitely if... Yes, I think if you lose a victory card to someone... Oh, there was a stack wipe uh, there, but it's not really the most epic of stack wipes. No, a couple thousand cannons, and they, mm. they still held out for a while. But there, there's the problem, Ceylon just doesn't commit to his battles, so he is running circles around him for now. Mm. Oh, that truce between Iridescent and uh, North Kubaluba almost over, but then what of the peacekeepers? Yes, yeah, oh, still well, okay. just, just keeping the peace, just taking it easy. Day by day. But Britannia has a terrifying force limit, truly terrifying, 647,000 units, mm -hmm. tons of manpower. And he can fight a long time. Yeah, he took religious ideas, but he already has quantity. Offensive. Revolution, revolutionary level also having quantity, but just not quite the same force limit. Mm -hmm. These are some terrifying armies that they can flaunt, though. Yes. Nevaluki has also lost access to his Streltsy though, so the ones that he recruited before, if they're even anywhere left... Yeah, oh they're man. the last of a dying breed. Yeah, there we go. Yes. So it's... many of them died in the previous war, and now these are the only that remain. Mm -hmm. Seems that he's reorganizing his stacks. He has got uh, level 8 forts along here, so it's like he's ready for it. Mare Nostrum is completed. No other nation contests the might of the Imperium. Yes, poor Byzantine Empire, after its brief moment in the sun, uh, freed by the legendary Starnan. Yeah, this has all become a uh, wee swimming lake for the cups. Of course it's all down to the Starnan, though. Without, yes, obviously. Without his fast finger influence, we would have mm. never come together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not but, again. Uh, what, a, what a run for Dreeks, though, really. Yeah, no, Bratton uh, has really managed to really roll with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what happened last campaign. Some legendary player annihilated him out of India. So it's good to see that he gets a good run this time. Yes, who could have that been? I, I can't remember. Too long ago. No. But I bet he was really good at the game. So, okay. oh. oh, war is going on. In fact, it seems people are dogpiling into Phrygia. It's letter Z in as well. Yeah, oh, letter Z in. Oh, yeah, Zakania is getting involved as well. They want their holy lands back. But uh, the Groog... I don't know, I don't believe he fa well. Yeah, the Groog has also joined in this war, not declaring their own one, they're not going crazy here. No, no, no. But they they have joined in, but how have they gotten in? Just an alliance with the uh, the Imperium. Yes, they've been called in. Oh. And more wars coming in. Alexandria. Has attacked Phrygia, my yeah, goodness me. They want to make their way over to San Ah. However, they have the minor thing off the Fridge fleet. <laughs> yes, I don't think they thought that one through. <laughs> <laughs> ten out, How are they going to get there? 10 out of 10, we'd do again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, does do they even have a fleet in Alexandria? Oh, there we go, it's on the move. Yes, 18 big ships is not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I think it's the it's fourth, it's the fifth biggest player fleet in the game. Yeah. So, well done there, Alexandria. The poor fridge, I mean, you got a feel for email, it's probably not too great watching your country get ripped apart. Well, I think he's currently sitting in with a blindfold on and <laughs> <laughs> Got the headphones on saying, la la la, I can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. The fridge have had a pretty good run. I mean, I thought it was over from, for them when, uh, when Sheridan crossed across. But then deadlines intervened. Yes. Saved by the deadlines. <laughs> bounced back strongly. Did quite a, quite a number on, on the letter Z, which... Yeah, tore the, tore the letter sheet to shreds to the point where we thought he was down and out, <coughs> Which was and kind contributed of, to the Great War. Yes, a very solid, aggressive play, but then got pieced out, and the big problem with his piece out was that his allies just simply just couldn't, were still, had to fight on about another ten years, and just hadn't recovered enough. And by the time it was, uh, truce was up and Phrygia could be attacked again, 
Those allies Came were over, in man. no Came position over. to help, and the Imperium just ate it up. So, I mean, gotta hand it to the Cups. They only started with this. Yes. And they have grown and grown in only 300 years. And, uh, you know, they have killed players along this route. And people, yes. uh, people have just accepted that that's what they do. It's the uh, good People want to see the culture map mode. I mean, there's no real culture to be found down no. here. That, that's just horrific. No, it's just lots of people on bicycles yeah. wearing clogs. <laughs> But the, the Hebrews are right here, and the, the whatever the Scanian things are, they're I up, don't know, uh, they're, they're very cheesy yellow. Mm, mm. Yeah, Norwegians over here, there's still a remnant from when, when uh, the, the greatest... Vandalia was sitting there. Yeah, actually, uh, I wasn't aware of this, but... Uh, yes, Gibraltar still clinging to its Norwegian heritage. There. Nothing but ugly things happening on the British oh Isles. Oh my god, he's with what's... <laughs> it what makes even, me sad. What even is this meant to be? Yes. Uh, Someone produced a picture of me talking about stop messing with Scottish culture. And I'd just like to say I endorse that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, we'd be able to find the stop messing with Scottish, with Scottish culture. culture. It's in the thread, right? It's somewhere in the forum thread. Yeah. Dutch Rome, it is glory. It is glorious. Well, it's something. I'd just like to say to chat, it's mm. definitely something. And over in the New World, James, this is just. Uh, Clown it's vomit a, of cultures here. It's a cultural cornucopia. Yeah. Aquitanian here, there, and everywhere. But yeah. And then you look to the north and you're like, oh, Catalan. There. They're everywhere. And then the English. Mm, mm, not good. I've seen, I've seen better. Okay, yeah. but uh, it seems we're getting war and more war. But uh, what's Aquitaine fighting now? They're against uh, Darfur and Toulouse. Must be more. Oh, go on. Ah yes, mighty conquests going on. Yes. Fernand Fernando Po and Sao Tom have got to go. And yeah, poor Phrygia just attacked on all sides. Oh dear, no sad. But then canopies are just kind of sitting back. They, they... Building a fleet, chilling. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to draw attention to himself too much after this mighty sellout. Yes, but we I think remember. So too. How's our laser doing in his epic war? I think he's doing just fine. Because he's not. Of ye there. Unlike unlike most players, he's um, basically. Not going in a dog piling. He's fighting a real opponent in a real war. Mm -hmm. um, Wonder his casualties have been. He is still there. Uh, yes, indeed. Ceylon with sixty-three thousand dead already, but he's on the offence, so he's eating yeah. the attrition. Yeah. Whereas if we look at Yi, yeah, they they've mm -hmm. lost fewer men, but again, they're on the defensive. But Uzbek. Can't forget, Uzbek being in this war means they're slipping past the defences. Yes. And just taking over these fairly lucrative province. Well, fairly lucrative. Fairly lucrative province. Still, this this one's in the bag for Ceylon. He, yeah, he yeah. can't mess this one up. Well. He, he probably won't mess this one up. He probably won't. Oh, oh I, I it's think, coming. Yeah. Really, we should just we should just have that one in, in place of the wee commentary box. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Ah, Stop messing so... with Scottish culture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, that look. That's beautiful. Yes. Um, rebels are about to enforce demands. Yeah, that's, Let's see that's what these rebels on want. On. It looks to be the calm separatists. Calm! Oh, no, no. They're probably not that calm, but they are about to revolt in a month. Mm. So calm will be back on the map in the right place as well. Which Only is the... one province, though, so it's not a big one for Salon. <laughs> no. 14 development, not huge. Uh, probably the next next month then. Yeah, any month now. 90. <laughs> oh, here we go, big battle. Ah, but Ceylon's got this. No, uh, well, no. well, by this I mean he's got a he's hell got of a beating. Oh dear. Yeah, reinforcements this... trickling in for ye. So, oh, well. Maybe. Well. Oh, cannons, here we go. Oh, oh, oh what a victory. And now, uh, can he get this wipe here? I mean, it's not quite as good as wiping 40k, but... Oh, oh there we go, stack wipe. Gotta pick your victories. Yes, you know, take take what you can get. Mm -hmm. So, I usually watch this on YouTube, but great moderation skills. You and Chris really bring live this season. Oh -ho. Well, we're doing our best here. Finally, some Now, someone's saying Calm is actually his victory card. Is that true? Oh, that would be... No, is that just... No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, Daniel's in a war with Fido. Well, <coughs> there we go, and what a fight! And Catalonia is involved in this. Oh wow! And on the other side, 
Jings, look at those. Look at those numbers. That's crazy. Well, if we get a quick look at it, it okay, seems here we go. Uh, First battle. Revolutionary Never Look is quick to dispatch. Well, this is Tarascan though, but uh, that's... well, that was Tarascan, but yeah. that sets him off at a good steady pace. It's so nice, nice opening start. Let's get a look at the numbers here. The iridescent. Uh, oh, it's actually against Great Tragulea here. Oh no, that's a sneaky move. Tragulean Imperialist War. So why do you think they're doing this? Who declared it? So this is Brit uh, Britannia has declared war on Great Tragulea. Oh. It's imperialism. Now on the defender side, they have three, four, five, like six hundred thousand. So not yeah. bad, respectable total. Nay, too shabby. Mm -hmm. On the aggressor side, they have four, five, six, seven, eight, oh. about eight hundred thousand. Many, many, many. All right, some people are going hail Britannia, Britannia salts the world. Other people saying salt can't stop Never Lucky's bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think with enough people to throw in front of Canada. No, I think that's actually, isn't that Catalonia's victory card there in Yelland? You may have a point if we check over at Catalonia and look at their victory cards. Yes, yes it, it is. It is. So, there's so there's two victory cards in, uh, up for grabs here. Of course, one of them is shared by two of them. Yes. And it's not like the defenders have any victory cards to be gotten here, so mm -hmm. not too great. Myself. My salt infused cannonballs can also do some damage, boasts uh, boasts Daniel. Oh, here we go. Yes. Uh, Tarastan once again coming in. Yeah, and once again they're going to be told where to go. Mm -hmm. Let's go home. Not just gone. But uh, yeah, plenty of fortification along here. This will be difficult to break through for either side. So Nevaluki will want to take care. He doesn't want to take too many casualties early on. No, he's got a hope. But the thing is... No, no, they are access through canopies. Oh, -ho. They're, they're being given access. So the canopies are just giving access to anybody that wants it. Yes. Ah, Denmark overrun by heathens. Well, no change there. <laughs> 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 when is North Kubaluba going to organize uh, to colonize, colonize someplace? Obdorsk. We have the power. Ah, uh, nah. Well, nah. it might make his font bigger. Mm -hmm, yes, I mean, but, just think of the extra font there, Bjorn. Yeah, but maybe he's tested that out and discovered that it does not improve the font to the oh, level that he's looking here for. Here we go, Tarascan coming Tarascan in. Tarascan think they can take them on? They really can't. That's but, showing uh, some real. Real bravery from AI. But we talked earlier about how the fact that uh, between the two of them, nobody could surpass their navy, and they have joined together at yes. the hip. And yes, it's quite a navy. Yeah, we are talking about... Uh, are these the two strongest nations in the world, though? That's my question. If we look at total numbers, no, but it's the first and the... What's that? Sixth? Yeah. Mm. Denmark Against has been overrun by Norse, not by heathen, says chat. <laughs> Uh, well, no, the Orthodox are still here. Yes. Yes, overrun by the heathens. So, what's going to happen now? Who is going to push the advantage and where? Oh. Here come the Britannians with their salt-infused cannonballs making their way up north. Mm -hmm. But but basically, there was a tactical withdrawal there from Neverlucky. Now, there's also to the south, I'd see a Neverlucky contingent in Tragulian territory. But here we go, battle. Yeah. They're fighting it out, and... He's won the first round, sent... He's telling people where oh, to go. Oh, there we go, they're just... Oh. Wow, mowing down the Britannians. However, there are just so many Britannians <laughs> that they are simply throwing themselves Yes, but that was guns. just a pure brute force attack. Mm -hmm. But also, where was the Tragulian armies? Uh, Where's the tactical yeah, coordination? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, here they are. They just didn't get involved. They didn't throw themselves uh, to in defend the cannons. In front of the cannons, cannons to, defend, to shield those never uh, lucky there's, cannons. There's two ways to throw yourselves in front of the cannons. Yes. And that was not one of them. Both will get you killed. <laughs> yes. But uh, <laughs> for whose benefit? Oh, okay, yeah. so here's a good idea. Britannia vastly outnumber the uh, revolutionary never lookies here. But who's going to win when it comes down to the battling? That well, it's I not really see. vastly outnumbering. Well, 114 to 80 something. But then you've also got the fact that, you know, terrain penalties. Mm hmm. Oh, ooh, wow. Never look, he's taking quite the thrashing. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wow, a lot of that came down to dice roll. Yeah. But even then, I, th I gotta say, I think that Never Lucky lost far fewer men. Mm hmm. And they're still holding on. Yes. Oh, wow! Sent Go away. home to your wee island. That really shook Britannia. Yes. That just shows you the revolution will not be televised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Like, oh. <laughs> there we go. But no. he's gonna need some backup there because when his front line goes, those cannons are, mm -hmm. they're really suffering. Oh, here we go. Another warm battles going on. Uh, this, this one here. The attackers really have the advantage where they want to place their units. People just gotta go in front, stop people from getting to those cannons. Because, yeah, no, that's... Uh, but numbers-wise, there's just so many flooding in on the side of the Britannians. Cannons on the front row, and that means end of story. Those enormous losses. But what was the, the casualties there, do we know? Ooh, we didn't see it for that battle. Sadly, we don't get to see that, but we can see straight away that a quarter million have died on the defender's side. And on the attacker? On the attacker. Oh, half a million! Already, jeez. Takes two good Britannians to uh, take down an Everlucky cannon, it seems. Yes. But there are plenty more Britannia, plenty more Irish where they came from. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially when they've been spreading. Kubaluba versus Great Tragulia, is someone saying? No, Kuba no, Kubaluba versus the Iridescent Horde, but the Iridescent Horde is also involved in the other war. So, I, I well, involved. Mm -hmm. I think they're there in name, but uh, only in spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when it comes to sheer numbers, though, Britannia can just keep throwing it down. I'm curious how this is going to go down, though. Kubaluba have got the back up. Yes. And I think they're going to take yes, a the bear slow taking and steady. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the uh, Bjorn is after his victory cards. It's official. Bjorn is going to try and rocket his way up there, and he has every opportunity to do so. There are still s some number of years on the clock. Uh, yes. 40, 50, 60. And probably about 60 or yeah. so, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Just in time with the dramatic music, you know, I could yes, swear Blondie... Yes, pretty epic music could here. swear he plans that. Oh, no. he's giving me a smug little nod. He knows. He Someone's knows. calling out for D-Note to seize Normandy. Yes, D-Note is your chance to actually be a hero yeah. in the stream. For once, you could do something. I mean, something good. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I don't think these troops have moved for millennia, but they... Uh, well, I think they got stack wiped during mm -hmm. the last war. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Britannia is just eyeing up, never looking. But there's the thing, Tragulia treats a bit too What's much Tragulia with his units. Doing? Yes. Well, not enough. It really should just uh, attach to them and then go in and smash. Yes. But there are so many attackers here. They need their numbers. He's moving them down. But this is sadly leaving Finland to uh, to get invaded. A few stack wipe schemes, Dean Ort in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but kind of looking a bit of a stalemate. Mm -hmm. This is a true great war where nothing moves in years. <laughs> yeah, but every time they wait, every moment they wait is just another moment that they can pierce through Finland. Now, how is um, Bratton doing up against Phrygia? Because once that war ends. I wonder if the Imperium would want to get involved well, I think way. the Imperium would want to get involved in something, somewhere. Yeah. It's getting fairly involved into the Fridge people, but as we see, the Hebrews have their eyes not just on their ancestral land, but they're extending what ancestral means by a sizable distance. Well, depends on your how far back you want <laughs> to trace your ancestry. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll all turn them into Jewish Hebrews in due time. Okay, battles going on between the North Kubalubans and the Iridescents. And the Iridescents are told that they'll be uh, salted horse meat hmm. in cafeterias across Kubaluba for years to come. Yes. And let's see, is there anything moving in our biggest war? Well, well not, a, a sort not on of, the frontier. There's a strategic... Oh, the Tarascan has been sent home. Mm -hmm. That's a good move to just pick them up. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, Nebeluki does not have the mobility, but they do have a whole load of blockades, and that's going to be giving them devastation along here, which they're probably not too we'll happy wait, about. Oh, oh Nebeluki is going in, probably yelling at Tragulia, get involved, throw yourself down in front of my men. Mm -hmm. There we go. No, Numbers-wise, they just can't match up to Britannia, and boy, are they taking some casualties. Look at that, eight, seven, eight thousand. Oh, yeah, oh wow, this is not looking good for the defenders. Nope, there we go. Gone Conversely, home. it's looking great for the attackers. Yes. Never lucky manpower. Yes, I'm pretty sure he has some. Yeah, he's down to a bit more than half of his manpower. Uh, Tregulia is tapped out. The Britannians there. Well, they've, they've lost a lot of manpower. 
And then there are the cats, people who, yeah, they've also suffered when it comes to uh, to the mm. man in power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they've been forced back. Oh. But the revolutionary never looky thinks, no, you gotta, you gotta be in it to win it. And you, where's, where's Trachulia? Yeah, Trachulia's just buggering off right there. And now they're funneling men in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are reacting well to this, and that is why Nabalooki's being told where to go. Oh, well, yeah, no. Uh, they, they've just got to work on this coordination here. Mm -hmm. But Trangulia, he's not force marching, he's not investing into these. That's mm -hmm. the problem. I'm still looking at tech 28, 28, and 28. And I guess Katz is also on 28. Yeah, they got the military that they need. Mm hmm. Fido Smash saying uh, Helden in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Now, Kubaluba is marching on. Yeah, I gotta say, this is this is the Kubaluban finest hour. Yes, never this is seen definitely Bjorn B do so well. This is Bjorn B's finest stream here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. The power of the shock here. Mm -hmm. Bjorn, B, Bjorn B built a very, very defensive setup. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, Radiar here built some, built some pretty awesome cavalry. It's a cavalry cannon combo. Mm hmm. But and the only thing is, is if, is if Bjorn B can get the reinforcements in, he can win the fight on sheer weight of numbers. Oh, yes. And I think the Iridescent are running out of said numbers, yet yes. they're in a massive deficit. Costs too much to have mercenary uh, cavalry mm -hmm. going in there. And those horses are pretty uh, ineffective against gun. So Nevelucky is just keeping an eye, making sure that they can't ever feel safe. Oh, here we this. go. With this much back. Oh, there they are. They're all moving in. Okay, they're going in. They're going to try their best. No, he stopped TTC. He basically pulled that stack. Oh, this is good. Excellent. He lost his front line. And he's marching into near certain death now. And where, but where's Tragulia? Yeah, Tragulia's just sitting back. My, what, what is he up to? It's his land getting invaded. Yes. Where's the coordination? One thing's for sure. The Salty One and Catalonia are coordinating very well. Yes, they are. And they, they, they don't sit next to each other. But then again, neither do uh, neither do Fido and the Great Tregulians. Hopefully there will be a beautiful orange Catalonian Greenland. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this war has been completely fought over Vestu... <laughs> whatever it's called. Whatever this place is. Some place. I don't know, I'd rather have the place that still have the woolly mammoths giving us ivory, but... Yes, well, no, it Shinto. does have some polar bears there, though. Novgorodian Shinto Green... Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, everything works. Everything goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, once again, you know, Tarascan, just keeping them around as a march ensures that they're harassing. Mm -hmm. Never looky up there. Mm -hmm. Tragulia is worse than AI claims chat. Now, that is pretty harsh. Oh, wow. I'm sure Tragulia no. has his reasons. I, I'm not sure Gorn Yasia would like to hear that. Yes. Depends if they can see all this going on or not. Mammoths no. in Greenland. Yes, it's a fact. I saw it on the TV. Mm -hmm. Must be true. I saw a documentary about it. Yes. I think it was called The Land That Time Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well known documentary. Yeah, but they, they've retreated, they're licking their wounds, and they're desperately trying to figure out some kind of plan here. Because well, the thing was, if they can not... No, they can't knock Tragulia out, because Tragulia is primary. That's right. So they could only get Katz's victory card from this war. Now, well, let's see, Bratton, how is his war against um, Phrygia? I mean, oh, it's... It looks to Zicania be looking a lot better. Zicania. Yeah, they've got... Um, did that get his victory card? I know he had a victory card there. He, he had one around here, did he not? Yes. For reclaiming his old lands, if I... There, there we, we are. Go. Yeah, yeah, he's got the province he needs as well. He's just That's how he's 4,000. That is his... 4,000 well, indeed. Well, that's, that's certainly going to help. So his... he's got his 4, his 3, and his 2,000. So score-wise, I guess gonna, he's gonna... is... Zucania is getting up in the world. Yes. And they're still ticking up from the Sindh victory card. Mm -hmm. 